456, 457. Oh, hey, scientist. Didn't see you there. I was here working on my guns. You impressed? You should be. Just kidding, guys. Welcome to Wilkerson's Wonders. I'm Ms. Wilkerson, and today I am wondering about muscles. What are muscles good for besides flexing and looking good? Let's find out. All right, guys, so muscles are responsible for movement in the body, okay? They're responsible for movement we can control and responsible for movement that we don't even have to think about. Our brain makes them do it for us. So let's talk about the three kinds of muscles. First kind of muscle, skeletal muscles. These are the ones that we mostly control. Move your hands, move your arms, move your legs, do a little interpretive dance. We cannot do any of that without our skeletal muscles. Skeletal muscles are attached to bone and they are responsible for moving those bones around. So think about your favorite sport. For me, that's roller skating. When I'm on my skates, I need my bones to keep me upright and I need muscles in lots of different places to move around. I need muscles in my core to keep me stable and balanced and I need those big leg muscles to move my skates and to get me rolling. So think about your favorite sport and think about how your muscular system and your skeletal system are working together to make that possible. And it's movement that you control. The other muscle types are, the next one we'll talk about anyway, is smooth muscle. Smooth muscle tissue is responsible for movements that you don't really control. So smooth muscle tissue is found in the organs. A good example of this is the stomach. So we eat our food, it goes in through our mouth, down our esophagus, down into the stomach, and the stomach is breaking it up, and it's moving that food around. It's kind of separating the good from the bad. And we don't have to tell our stomach to do that. The brain makes those muscles do it. The smooth muscles, that's what they're built for. They move that food around. So if they're taking the nutrients, they'll kind of push it over to, you know, the stomach wall where it can get to those blood vessels. Or if it's waste product, it'll push it into our small intestine. And the small intestine will push it somewhere else into the big intestine. So there are smooth muscles within the organs in your body. The other type, and this is a really important one, is the cardiac muscles. Cardiac muscles are only found in the heart and they're responsible for your heartbeat, right? Without that, we would not be functional. So all of your muscles and bones are working together for you. So you gotta take time and appreciate that beautiful body of yours because it's doing a very good job. All right, so next thing I wanna wonder about is this lemon. All right, so this lemon has this cascara, this peel on the outside. It's a skin, okay? And it holds in all that sour fruit that I will use for my cooking, but it has this wonderful skin on the outside that protects it, just like we do. All right, your skin does a lot of cool stuff. It is the biggest organ in our body. It keeps our guts from spilling out. And it also does a few other things. It gets rid of some waste products. When you sweat, that's your body getting rid of waste products, but it's also your body regulating your temperature. The skin kind of helps do that. Skin is how we feel things and understand things. Like I know this is a lemon because my sense of touch is telling me so, and the skin is a big part of that. So your skin is pretty important too. Now, we gotta talk about how to protect these things. Muscles, protein, and a healthy diet. That's how we keep those healthy, and a lot of regular exercise. I know that's hard to do right now when we're kind of stuck in quarantine, but I've been doing yoga in my house. Um, I can go for a walk here and there, and there's a lot of stuff you can do. Do some jumping jacks, keep those muscles healthy. And as for your skin, a healthy diet works there too. So if you're not eating your veggies or your proteins, you might want to get on that. All right, so that's muscles and the musculatory system and your skin. Hopefully you learned a little bit and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.